Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Wallet Roland, and welcome to Flashback Games. Today we're going to be taking a look back at episode 2 of Fate. Here's our little character from before. We got a little uh, wood chopping axe and the hair and the glasses and the cat. And the, you know what I'm talking about. Let's go and continue the game. Roland the Unknown. Oh, I'm unknown. Okay, I got you. I got you. Continue playing. Now, it said 14 minutes of actual playtime. Why did it say 14? Oh, because it took me a few minutes to make my character. Okay, that scared me. I thought something might have been wrong with the recording. With the previous recording, which there's probably a lot of problems with the previous recording. But hey, you do what you can. As far as that business goes... I'm thinking it might be advantageous. Let's see. Got plenty of health, mana. Did I add any of my skills yet? Let's zoom out on that map there. It's a little bit close. And I believe... Quests. I've still got three. As far as I remember, you can only hold three at any one given point in time. That's the maximum amount you can have. I guess let's try dive right back into it. You know what? I, I can buy a better weapon, though, before I go right back in. I'm sure I can buy a better weapon. I can extract gems from the items you will be... Ah, oh, blasted. That's not the right guy. You are. <clears throat> I travel far and wide to bring you the best deals and finest goods. Would you like to see my newest acquisition? I'm sorry, my accents are terrible. I just figured I'd give him some sort of fancy accent, at least somewhat close to the accent he already has. 3x6, light hand axe, slashing damage. Let's see now. 4x10, crude hammer, blunt damage. That's not half bad. 7, 2 to 7, sword, short sword, slashing damage. I'm thinking that since we're going to go at least partial magic, I really want that one. That's the one I really want. Another thing that I've noticed is that a lot of times you can find pretty good armor and spells and uh, equipment inside dungeons themselves. Like, for example, I didn't even realize we had this, a small shield. Um, let's go on ahead and use this identify scroll to identify. Small shield of luck, socketed, one free socket. Now, those sockets mean that you can place a gem inside of that socket. The gem will give it additional abilities, various abilities, depending on what you choose. 2% chance of finding magical items. That's nice. Not identified. I know what we need now. We need to sell this. Uh, probably sell this. Um, I need a book of identify. That's what I want. But I don't have quite enough until I actually start selling this stuff. And since these two aren't identified, they might be worth a lot of currency. I could sell this, and that would afford me the book of identify to identify these two items. And then I could immediately place them in my inventory, or on my slots. So, giving up the one shield for the promise of two identified additional magical gem items, rings... I'm thinking, yep, let's go with it. Sell that. We're going to buy our book of identify. Now, that has 10 uses. I can use it up to 10 times to identify 10 different items. I usually like to clear out a little space for it right about... Tja. I'm going to right click and identify with the left click. Gold ring of the magician. 1% faster casting speed. That's good. Uh, once we decide we want to get some spells. Now let's um, identify this one. Lapis Ring of the Tortoise. 1% stamina bonus. Hey, you know what? It ain't much. But it's better than nothing. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a whole lot. We got ourselves some minor health potions. Health potions maxed out around here. I usually like to put the stronger health potions up front. 
the weaker health potions in the back. Start casting from the front as far as potions go. And then use leave the mana and stamina potions in the back unless I happen to also be a mage. Which, I never actually use stamina potions. I just leave them out. Uh, we weren't able to... I can't remember. Did he have a good weapon that I could... Yeah, yeah. Let's use this one. Nice little short sword right there. Uh, we can also buy some boots and a cap. Um, th I'm thinking boots. I'm thinking I'm thinking footwear. I don't like going into dungeons barefoot. It just doesn't seem right. Hey, look at our little boots. We've got little boots now. We've got little booties. I'm always trying to stay quiet during the loading time because the frame rate likes to crash out on me. It's in dire pain. Let's see now. Let's find us some mobs. Using the map, I can tell that I've already been to these places. There we go. Oh, nice. He was already almost dead. Stamina potion. The game, the game does tend to woo, pick up a lot once you start using summons, transforming your pet more often. The enemies get more uh, difficult and start using spells of their own. Plus, we've ramped up the difficulty a little bit, so it'll be more challenging as we go on. Let's take out this guy. Good job, Solar Flare. And if I get his name wrong, it's it's because I've had other pets on this game and other games before. Hey, we leveled up. Let's check out... We've got Strength, Dexterity, Vitality, and Magic. Or Magic. Now, seeing as how strength, dexterity, and vitality already start out pretty high, why don't we put some points on magic and try to get that caught up with our other attributes, which may or may not be a pretty bad mistake, but I'm going to give it a shot. Now, as far as magic goes, I'm thinking, what if we were to make a spell sword? Like the old spell swords from the Elder Scrolls games, how they would have a sword in one hand, and a spell in the other. What I'd like to see is, is it possible to wield a sword and a shield and still cast spells? Or you can you only... Because I know you can wield a two-handed staff and cast spells. That's how I always used to do it before. So let's give this guy sword, club, hammer, axe, spear, staff, polearm, bow and crossbow, critical strike, spell casting, dual wielding, shield, Attack, Defense, and Charm Magic. Let's give him Sword Skill, plus one. And I think the best type of magic to start out with so early game at such a low level is usually Charm Magic, which is basically your healing. And your, def uh, well not defensive, but healing and, uh, uh, let's see, re not recovery, but sort of, what would you call it? Um... Trick magic? Alteration magic? <laughs> I'm two Elder Scrolls right now. Basically, you can use it to make maps, identify items on your own. It's really cool. I usually really like it. But of course, you have to either buy or find the spells first. They don't just sort of level up with you. Love getting them big old potions. Those are big potions, and they are very nice. Let's see now. We're going into some new territory. Mob! Kill it with fire. We've got to get some fire on this account. I can't wait until I get my... Fr oh my goodness, it's a hole. Okay. There's a lot of them. Got to try to focus down a single target. I think this is one of the boss mobs that's... Ah, uh, oh, I've been poisoned. It must be one of the boss mobs connected to the quest. Abentrod. Piercing damage, crushing damage, fire resistance, ice weakness. Um, we're going to need a potion. I knew it. Quest completed. And he's still attacking me. Slash him. Whoo. Oh boy. And as you'll notice, your pet does not actually, uh, does not actually get killed. He will sort of not, he won't get killed or knocked out. He gets frantic. It puts him into fleeing mode, and he starts fleeing, getting all upset. And it always makes me feel a little bad for the poor little guy. 
but there is an easy way to solve that. Let's use our book of identify. Identify any unidentified items. That one has negative attributes, which I'm not really too keen on, so I'm going to go on ahead and just let that go. We're going to open up the pet's inventory in a safe spot. I hope it's safe. Let's give him this ruby ring. Uh, we have an ability to enchant it later, but we'll have to pay for it. It's a service that you have to pay for. Let's give him some of these miscellaneous items that we've picked up that we don't want to use as far as our attacking or defending ourselves. Our weapons are slightly, yes, slightly superior to these in most attributes. Uh, we want to keep the health potions. I'm going to try to organize them in just a wee bit and then place the new health potions in the front slot. Stamina potion I really don't need. Uh, let's keep our book of identify, our book of town portal scroll. And what we can do to replenish our, H our pet's health faster is to send him back to town. He will sell any items that he isn't wearing come back with the money from those items and be fully healed as well. Unfortunately for me, I don't actually have any heal yourself spells at this time. So it looks like I'm going to have to use one of these. Whew, that's a lot. Of, I shouldn't have done that. This character is only like level 2. One of the smaller potions probably would have almost completely filled his bar. Oh, go goblin, go down. Ooh, short sword. No, gotta help my pet with his attack. Spear, short sword, barrel, cracked urn. I always like to try to break the miscellaneous items around the areas to make sure that there aren't any new items or what have you. Gotta try to keep my volume at a pretty decent level while I'm speaking so that I can be heard from both audio feeds. Last episode, I actually did not have my headset mic connected to the proper output so I didn't get to actually record any audio from me with the headset. The audio from the game was just fine but unfortunately the audio from my headset was not taking because I had it set to the wrong channel because um, once I set the channel the headset was not yet plugged in therefore it was not reading as a viable selection option for feedback audio from me. So I just selected whatever I saw. It was like HP high definition audio stream and I thought, oh that's the headset, but it was not. It's not the headset audio unless it specifically states that it is the headset audio. I fixed that problem and hopefully the changes took, but as far as episode one, I just in case since I'm sort of new to the game, I turned on my cell phone and recorded some of the audio off there. And yeah, it's, it's pretty high quality. It's not quite as high quality as the feed from my headset, probably. But I heard some of it, and it sounds pretty good. I didn't get a lot of feedback or a lot of random audio. Uh, it's like the main thing I noticed that I hopefully, hopefully it, oh gosh, that's a, that's a troop. Let them come to me. Let them come to me. Oh, they're going to kill my cat. No, don't kill my cat. No, don't kill my cat. Forget you. And you. You too. Get you some. Okay. Nope, it's a bait tactic. Let's focus down the single enemy. Alright, now that we're in a little safer spot, he's going to come back from town really quick, since we're not very deep in the levels. I'm going to go on ahead and get into a safe little corner here and apply my level up attributes because I think I might regain HP based off of that. And this may be a big mistake, but I'm going to try to level him up pretty evenly, except for dexterity. Charm magic, sword skill. Since we're such a low level before we've gotten any fame, I'm going to try to just focus on those two attributes mainly. Pet has returned from town. Unfortunately, leveling up did not give me any new HP. So apparently the game difficulty that we have it set on has um, eliminated that as a possibility. However, that's fine. I happen to have plenty of potions on hand. Okay, focus down single targets. You know what? I'm going to call my pet the tank and start attacking what the tank is attacking. 
Because if he's attacking something and I'm attacking something else, that's really dividing our efforts. Okay, that's a potion of healing. Let's use it after this fight. They will automatically refresh me, which I absolutely love. That's awesome. My coffee is getting cold. No, I'm the coffee meister. I can't let my coffee get cold. Excuse me. Oh, I hope that doesn't come back in the feedback, but oh, coffee is so good. Hey, pet leveled up. Way to go, Solar Flare. He's level two now. Come on, you gotta catch up to me. You gotta catch your game up. Just put your game up. Step, step your game up, Russell. Dang. Level three. Step your game up. The statement is called Step Your Game Up. What are you doing? What are you doing with that? Every now and again, the game does tend to freeze maniacally. Slowly laughing at my progress, slowly telling me that although that although my computer is basically high grade compared to the old games that I'm playing, was that a, was that an enchanted item? Did I just one shot? I just swung at you and just eliminated you. But as I was saying, um, it's the game does tend to freeze every now and again, slowly telling me that even though this computer is basically high grade compared to the um, old school games that I'm playing, still it wishes to spite me and forever mock my dreams of becoming good at YouTube. At YouTube. Forever mocking my dreams. Oh, why does it mock me? Why do things mock me? Mana Potion! Now, I believe this area to be fully explored. Let's just take a zoom out and check real quick. That's such a cheap way to figure out. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. See, I know a lot of cheap tricks on here. If you just multi-tap M, it will zoom the map out. And you can see the entire map, the whole area, the whole shebang, kit and caboodle. And just go wherever the heck you want. Or you could be, you know, a, a fair guy and turn it off every now and again. But of course, even if I wanted to do that, I'd just be immediately... Um, uh, number one, I'd get immediately lost. Number two... I would immediately be attempted to apply the um, to apply the reveal map spell, which is actually a low mana cost spell that reveals the entire map to the player anyway. <laughs> so I'd be like, I'd probably just excuse me, I'd probably just legitimize doing that by saying I'm a mage, I'm allowed to do that kind of stuff. Because I mean, come on, man, don't don't have me get lost in this dungeon in the middle of the night. I'm trying to record here. It's, nobody wants to see me running around a dungeon, you know, getting lost. I mean, if the if the enemies came back, uh, you know, every couple of minutes, yeah, that'd be fine, because then I'd be still fighting, and it would still be entertaining. But getting lost in a dungeon that's completely empty, aside from me, my pet, and the broken pottery, oh, stretch, that's not going to be very interesting. Okay, I'm going to just shut my mouth for a second while the loading screen happens. Someday, I'm going to figure out how to edit that part out, but unfortunately, I'm not very good at cut and, uh, cut and remove yet, because that part of, um, post, post video production, I think it is, still scares me, still scares me greatly, because I often tend to either cut too much or not enough of a video. Technically, I guess there's not really that much, uh, Yay, Book of Town Portals, and it's free. Those usually cost 500 gold. <laughs> but basically, I don't think there'd be any drawback to not having recorded, uh, or excuse me, having not cut enough of a video. Unless, of course, the content that you wanted cut was, uh-oh, still there afterwards. Kill it with fire. Okay, that's good. We're both focused down on the same target. I'm getting scared of opening these small chests. They always seem to be full of something I don't want in my life. And, wait, what did I just say? Please don't be a sword. Please don't be a sword. Uh, nothing. Well, that's better than a sword. <laughs> or at least a cursed sword, that is. Oh, it's going to be so much fun when these things start. Uh-oh. Ooh, where did all these rats come from? Oh, huh. whoa, 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 apply health, um, three. Oh, God, attack with the tank is attacking. Cat, what are you doing? He's fleeing. Oh, my gosh. 
Kill. 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 Okay, press 5. I've got one left. F6. Oh god, don't die yet. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have to go back in pre-recording and put some epic music on that or something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Sorry about that, the recording just tanked again. Uh, next episode, I'm going to switch the uh, recording options to low-end PC, or to something sort of off-grid, or... Uh, the graphics of the game aren't incredibly high. I might be able to go down with the shading a wee bit. Who knows, I'll figure it out. I don't want my frame rate to tank and just freeze every now and again. Uh, and I don't want awkward moments of absolute silence while I'm waiting for the frame rate to pick back up. I mean, it's not just, like, slowing down. It's completely freezing. I'm gonna have to edit that out. If I even can. I'm hoping I can. There are still so many mobs around this area. And my health is low. And my health is low. And we don't want to die. And my health is low. I didn't even realize it. Oh my goodness. Oh my gracious. Oh my gosh. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Here's what we're gonna do. We're going to go to an area that I've already been so that we're not trampling over the same mobs. Hurry, quick. Run to town. Run to town, boy. Get healed and protect me. Okay, I don't see any mobs around. I think we're safe. Watch one just jump out of the shadows and kill me. We're going to give him a lot of strength, too. You know, try to keep strength and vitality a little bit higher than magic. A little bit higher than mana. Um... Let's give him some defense magic. And attack. No, I don't really want any attack magic because I want my, mate, my attack to come from my sword, maybe? Maybe. Let's, let's just see if he can dual cast and wield a shield or something at the same time. Let's see that first. You know, sort of see how it takes off with throwing fireballs and thunderbolts before we actually put points on it. Because this is entirely a new concept to me, you know, combining different classes to make a new alternate class. Usually I go with what I like to call a purebred, which is basically, okay, I'm going knight, he's all defense and HP and attack with his sword. Or all defense and HP. Oh, a fish! Doesn't that return, return him to normal? Oh, hey, another rat. We love those, right? Die. Oh, that's another thing. On an, on the advanced difficulties, uh, Hero and um, I think the last one was, I can't remember if it was Page or, no, Page was the easiest difficulty. Legend. On Hero and Legend, the enemies actually start running from you like that rat did, which, ironically enough, an enemy running away seems like it would be something that you would see in an easier, lower difficulty. But I've noticed that what's happened to me before, especially in the lower levels, the deeper levels of the dungeon, is that enemies have the AI to actually kite you and, you know, lure you into traps from other enemies. Into ambushes, basically. And it's actually really interesting. Now, instead of descending uh, the stairs, because we haven't fully uh, explored this part of the map yet, what we're going to do, and also instead of going back to level one is we're going to open up our inventory and since I acquired for myself a lovely book of my very own town portals and didn't have to buy it we're gonna activate that right outside of this area I usually like to activate it right about face forward right about here uh, well in that area it's usually in that little little um, cul-de-sac right there. I usually like to activate it there because it just looks cool. Uh, we're going to return to town. Heal up because we are literally at <laughs> three life. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, we're going to want to heal up. And then we'll start episode three right after this. Alright, heal me. Thank you so much. Alright. Thanks for watching, everybody. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help. And I'll see you all in Episode 3. 
Bye-bye.